What is a shaman? It's basically a person who's one with nature, able to be a facilitator for healing. There's many different types of healers, teachers, shamans, medicine people. It's just a word that has taken on a lot of momentum because at this time we live in, this is what we have been lacking and people are now awakening to fulfill those roles. I was grieving. I was mourning for my dad. It was somehow always on my mind that he was gone. What I call my vision quest of coming to Sedona and working with Rogelio, with his healing and his taking me to the PowerPoints and showing me where I could spiritually awaken myself by painting this scene or that scene as he chanted and offered prayers. It's been a way of finding myself again after my father's death. Sometimes people are very materialistically minded and they have a spiritual awakening and they just can't stay there anymore. They have to go and create their life in a new way. We are one with the infinite sun forever and ever and ever. Everything is a part of a circle of life and it's alive. It's called the beauty way. In this busy world we live in so often we forget what we know. Forget to be present, to be at peace, to be, uh, to take a deep breath and to connect with what's around us. The paintings were my reason for being that summer. They evolved, they grew and I grew with them. They gained new layers of texture and complexity and so did I. You awaken spiritually from your sleep. And so when the ego comes upon you, it awakens you to see, to have insight, to, to be illuminated, to have consciousness. Because it feels like in about 20 minutes it can start to rain, maybe even sooner, like 10 minutes. There's an artist and a shaman, and it's true that they both come from different worlds, but they're brothers as they travel. Down the trails through the red rocks of Sedona.